Hey, what is going on guys? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I will be showing you the new Nintendo 3DS emulator called Citra. Now the UI might look very familiar to you and that's because it has been copied from the Dolphin emulator. Now not all of the settings will work but what does work is the Vulkan API backend which will give you slightly better performance in the emulator. Now here you see a bunch of games and I'm not going to give you the link to that, you'll have to find that on your own. Anyway, not all of the games do work, some don't even load, some crash. But let's see how the Legend of Zelda performs. Now the loading up will be quite slow for pretty much all of the games. And this is the first version. So here we have the loading screen. So you'll have to be really patient while each of these games load up. So as you can see, we've got the title screen up and the frames per second on the top left hand corner is about 9 frames per second. And any second we should have Blink coming on on his horse. Yep. Anyway, let's get into the game. And one thing I do want to mention that there is no sound at the moment. So that's probably one of the reason it is running at the speed that it is. Okay, here we are. 18 frames per second in the house, but that will change once we go outside. Okay, let's get down. So I've got about 36 rupees here. Now if I'm not mistaken, I need to get 40 so I can buy the sword. And right at this moment you can't use any Bluetooth control pads. So I am having to use the on-screen controls. And as you can see the uh, gameplay is about 10 frames per second right now. I wouldn't really call it playable. Oh, just stop there. And we didn't get the extra coin or rupee sorry. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think there might be something right at the back here. Um, unless I've already got on it. Oh, here we go. 41 rupees now. Let's have a chat with this guy here. I'm just trying to scroll. Here we go, the shield. Bye. Nope, let's head out now. So the next objective will be to get the cockery sword. The loading in between the going into the shop and out does take its time. But like I mentioned, it is a very early emulator. Okay, let's see if I successfully nope. 
let's go and get the rupee again no matter now if I'm not mistaken okay it's a bit hard controlling I'll try to do it with my index finger it just stops when I'm going to the um, edge it's probably like a dead zone but yeah you can see the general gameplay here is about 10 frames per second I'm not noticing any kind of graphical glitches okay yep you can probably see the tunnel from here and in there is a short maze the frames have gone up slightly nearly 13 frames per second and it's dropped again okay 15 frames And let me see if I remember which way to go. It's probably going to be a boulder coming down. I think it's on my left then up. Should be here. Yes, the treasure chest. And here it is. So now I actually can go to the Deku tree. So the next game is Metroid Samus Returns. So here we've got 12 frames per second going up to 15, 16 and it's dropped. But it will come out slightly as we get into the game. Okay, so the top screen, everything looks fine, not noticing any kind of graphical glitches. But the bottom screen, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, here we go. So about 16 frames per second now. It seems quite decent so far. Where are the bad guys? Okay, so we can get past here. Oh, here we go. There's one guy here. Oh. So if you haven't played this game, I really recommend it. It is a very good game. Okay, so here, for me to break this block, I'll have to hit the right shoulder button to release the rockets. And I'm in the new area here. Okay, and again, this is going to be a bit tricky. So hold the shoulder button. Aim up. Here we go. And jump. And I made it. Okay. So let's see how far we can get. Oh, it's this guy again. Oops. 
Let me get a block here out. Okay, he's gone. Keep him going down. Actually, no, that's the way I started. So yeah, as you can see, this game in that bad itself. And I'll go on to the last game, which I think a lot of people will request. So yeah, it's coming. So if you haven't guessed, it is Pokemon Red Sun. And I was quite surprised that this game actually loaded up. Anyway, let's skip all of that. And get into the game. It does run really slow and there's a lot of dialogue. So you're going to have to be really patient with this game. And I've saved it just before the first battle. So we'll see how that performs so there's nothing on the bottom screen I'm not sure well actually there should have been so it might be a uh, graphical issue on this emulator for Android okay okay here we go we're gonna start this fight So right now it's about 4 frames per second, 5, let's see how the uh, battle is. So as you can see there is a lot of slowdown. It looks like the bottom screen has some graphics coming on. So this is the rival for this game I assume. So about 10 frames per second now. Okay, here we go. So now the bottom screen is up. And let's see if the touch functions here. Yes, as you can see, the touch is functioning here. So I'm going to go with Leaf Edge. It's lighting up green, so I'm assuming that's the one I should go for. The opponent used Water Gun. Mm, looks like I'll be hit first. It's not very effective, that's good. Now it's my turn. Oh, it's taking a big hit there, it must be super effective. Wow. More than half, yep, it's super effective. Let's do the same move again if it's available. I don't want to long at the uh, battle. Oh, 
Okay, looks like I was able to attack straight away again. Should be a knockout right now. There you go, I think that's it. Critical hit. The graphics do look very good and I'm surprised there isn't any kind of flickering or glitches. So for a first version on the Android it is really impressive. Just remember there is no sound and it is really slow so you're going to have to have a lot of patience if you're going to be playing any of these games. And one thing I do want to mention is that I am running it on the Xiaomi Mi 8 with the Snapdragon 845 CPU. Anything below that, I don't think you'll get any kind of performance like I am. So ideally you would want to use a Snapdragon 845 device. And the cheapest right now would be the Pocophone F1. Okay, so let's just see. Okay, here we have 22 frames per second, but obviously there is nothing displaying on the screen. So once this match is over, I'll see how the general performance is, unless the dialogue is uh, very long. Enthusiast, right? Yep. Oh, and uh, you can play it on uh, portrait mode, which uh, obviously would be the best way to play. You can have all your controls here, but it might be very tight and cluttered. So that's why I had it in the landscape. So let's just take that back to landscape. Whoops. Okay, looks like there's going to be a lot of chatting now, but yeah, I'll, it's about 5-6 frames for the whole game, so I wouldn't really call it playable. Anyway, so that does it for this video guys. Um, if you want to download this emulator, there will be a link in the description. And as I mentioned earlier, there will be no links to any games. That is something you'll have to do on your own. You can either dump your own games or find another way to get those games. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please do subscribe and do help me out. I will be having more videos coming up. This month we'll be seeing a lot of new phones. It's going to be the Pixel 3. OnePlus 6T, the Huawei Mate 20 and 20 Pro and possibly the LG V40 and the Razer phone. I am planning to get some of those new phones so you can expect the usual camera comparisons and speed tests and reviews. So please do follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram and like always, thanks for watching. And I will catch up with you in the next video.